Hello Year 5 and 6. Today we are looking at subject verb agreement and I've put a slide up here for you to have a read about what that means because it is quite an unusual term but we use it in our writing all the time so we need to understand how it works and when we need to use it. What you need to remember is that when there's a singular subject or noun the verb has an S in it like our example of the dog barks. It's only one dog, so therefore we would put barks. Whereas when there's a plural subject, such as dogs, we would use the verb with no S in it. So we'd say dogs bark. Okay, pause the video now, check you understand the, the rule and which way round it goes. Then Miss Jennings and I are going to play a board game in this video, all about subject verb agreement. When the card comes on the screen, pause the video and see which option, A or B, you would choose or which is the correct sentence. Then play on to see if you are correct. And there is a cheeky exception in this video and I wonder if you can spot the exception to the rule and post it on the blog. Let us know which one you think is the exception to the rule. Best of luck. Hi Year 5 and 6, we're here to talk to you about subject verb agreement and I know that sounds like quite a, quite a scary term but we're going to talk you through how you f pick the right subject and the right verb in different sentences. And so, shall I go first? Yes, yeah, you go first. So I'm gonna roll. <laughs> oh, I've only got one. <laughs> so I'm going to move one space and I'm going to pick there up the go. card and I've got card number one and it says, my dad and I don't like bowling. My dad and I doesn't like bowling. Hmm. So you've got to think about what the noun is in the sentence. And it's my dad and I. So there's two nouns in this sentence. Is that, do you think that's right? I think that's right. Yeah. So it's my dad and I don't like bowling. Yeah. My dad and I doesn't like bowling. Now I can hear that quite clearly that I think it needs to be option A for my dad and I don't, don't. like bowling. I would agree. Good. Because... There's two people, so it's a plural noun, so it goes with don't. You could also think of it as do not. Do not. Don't, do not. Yeah, My don't. dad and I do not like bowling. Yeah, because don't is a contraction. Good, but so we need to think of it as do not. You wouldn't say does not. Good. And we can check our answers, and number one is A. So I got correct. my answer correct. So I'm going to keep that card, and we'll see which one of us gets the most cards okay. at the end. My turn. Oh, one. <laughs> I'll move forward one space. Right. Okay. So A is we has to wash the dishes after supper or B we have to wash the dishes after supper. Okay. Again, I can hear that quite clearly. I think it's we have to wash the dishes after supper because we don't say we has. Has to wash the dishes. We oh. has to. No, that's not going to make, make sense. sense. So B. Yes, we got that one right. Done. We're one apiece at the moment. Let's see. Or five. Right. One, two, three, four, five. And my card says, Bill drives a school bus or Bill drive a school bus. Ooh. So I've got drives or drive. And it's only Bill. It's just talking about one person. So it's singular. So would we say Bill drives a school bus or Bill drive a school bus? No, I definitely think that's drives. Drives. Yeah, you definitely would say that's a number thirteen A. Yes, yes, you're correct, Miss Smart. Second well done. Card for me. Okay, right. Let's see what I can roll this time. Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, so Micah weren't in school yesterday, or Micah wasn't in school yesterday. Now again, so I'm going to think. Micah were not in school yesterday, or Micah was not in school yesterday. So I'm going to go with B, Micah was not in school yesterday. Definitely. Yeah. Let me check my answer. 19, B. Yes, we were correct. Well done, Miss Jennings. My turn again. Or oh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've got a card. And it says, the players is going out for pizza, or the players are going out for pizza. So this has got a 
plural noun, hasn't it? Because it's talking about players. It's talking mm. about it could be players of a football team mm. or a bowling team, and they're going out for some pizza. So I think the players is going out for pizza. The players are going out for pizza. I think that's got to be B. The players are going out for pizza. Because there's more than one. Because there's more than one of them, definitely. Yeah. So number two is the answer B. Yes, you are right. Yes. Three in a row. Okay, let's roll first. Ooh. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> right. So A. Mike was the tallest player on the team, or Mike were the tallest player on the team. So Mike is just a single person. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be Mike were, because mm -hmm. you would say were if there were multiple people. Yeah, so were would be the plural, Yeah. but it's only talking about Mike. So Mike was the tallest. I'm going to go for A. So this is number eight. Let me just double check. Yep. I am right. Oh, we're doing well. <laughs> six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've got the sentences on card 14. The firefighters practice their drills every day, or the firefighters practices their drills every day. So again, we've got plural because I've got firefighters. And I've got practice or practices. So my, you need to think if your noun is plural or single, and I need to think about my verb. So I think I need the firefighters practice their drills every day. Is that right, Lucy? Yeah. And 14, I think the number is, the correct answer is A. Yep, you are right. Yes, yeah, good. Okay, my turn again. Another one for me. Not so good, okay. Card number 20. So, A. Our, our car doesn't look like new anymore. Or B. Our car don't look like new anymore. Mm. So. That's tricky. It's got those contractions in again, hasn't it? It of does. Doesn't and don't. Yeah. So, let me think. So, doesn't would be does not. So, our car does not, not, does not look like new anymore. Don't would be our car do not look like new anymore. Now, if we had multiple cars, it would say our cars don't look like new anymore. Yes. That would make sense. Yes. But because I've only got one car, it needs to be does not. Definitely. So our car doesn't look like new anymore. It's just one car. So 20, I'm going to say A. Yes. Well that's done, right. Miss Jennings. That was a tricky one. So this card says, my parents was late to work or my parents were late to work. So I'm going to look at the noun and parents tells me it was both my parents, so more than one. And I've got was and were. My parents was late to work. Mm, my parents were late to work. I think it needs to be the were when it's more than one. So my yeah. parents were late to work. Yeah. Did you guys agree with me at home? Shall we check our answers? I would agree. So number, number five, five, I think it's B. You are right. Yes. yes. Well done if you got that as well. Okay. Hopefully I get a big number this time. You need to catch up with me, Miss Jennings. Oh, that's okay. That will do. Okay, 11. So, A. My little brother talk too much. Or B. My little brother talks too much. Okay, so I would say B, my little brother talks too much. Um, I think it would be talks too much as well because you've only got, it's talking about a little brother. So it mm. sounds like they're just talking about their one little brother. Yeah. It is a little bit tricky, subject verb agreement, but I think you're right, Miss Jennings. Yeah. I think it's going to be B. B. Shall I double check? Yeah, let's double check. In rule 11, B. Yep, we're right. Well okay. done. Five. Five, and I've got my grandparents live one hour away or my grandparents lives one hour away. So I can hear in that question I've got grandparents, so it's talking about more than one grandparent. 
So I need to think, when it's a plural noun, my grandparents live one hour away. Yes, yeah, I agree. And that's number 17, and I think that's going to be A. 17A, yes, you are right. Fantastic. Number four. One, one, two, three, four. Okay. A, I write with a pencil, or I write with a pencil. So, again, we have a singular pencil, but I think it would be I write with a pencil. Wouldn't make sense to say I write. No, I write with a pencil. Doesn't sound right when you say it out loud. No, I write with a pencil. Yes. Okay, so 23B. Yes, that's right. Well done. Oh, I'm nearly near the end now. I wonder if I can get there in one more roll. One, two, and I've finished the game. I'm sorry, Miss Jennings, I did beat you on that one. I was still quite a long way behind you. But I feel a lot more confident about subject-verb agreement now. I do as well. I do. This has really helped me, actually. And I hope it helps you guys at home.